There is growing concern that the coronavirus may spread farther than previously thought in those tiny airborne particles we keep hearing about. It's commonly understood that those particles, for example, from a sneeze, can spread up to six feet without a mask. But more than 200 scientists are now urging the WHO to reconsider their guidance on that when it comes to indoor spaces. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook, spoke with two of the scientists. Researchers around the world say the evidence is clear. The coronavirus is likely airborne. When we call for sneeze, larger airborne droplets containing virus can travel, usually up to about six feet. But smaller particles can be emitted simply by talking or singing and can go much farther and linger in the air for hours. They don't fall to the ground in six feet and they can remain in the air for hours and potentially infectious for hours. What would you like the WHO to do? Acknowledge that the risk goes beyond six feet Dr. Don Milton co-wrote the letter signed by nearly 240 scientists from around the world. How certain are you that aerosols are playing a significant role in the transmission of COVID-19 past, say, six to eight feet? You look at the restaurant outbreak in Guangzhou, several bus outbreaks in China, and it's clear that one person could infect people over much more than six feet. In some circumstances, those aerosols can travel more than 30 feet. Each layer of protection helps, like this cloth mask that partially blocks an aerosol from a simulated cough. What implication does that have for somebody in their home or in their office indoors? You need to have everybody wearing masks who are not in the same bubble, uh, and that you need to have good ventilation. Improved ventilation systems are a top priority for New York's Governor Andrew Cuomo. If there is a way to filter the air, and there's a way to get COVID out of the air, then we want to do that. Dr. John LaPook joins us now. John, we're so hung up on six feet, six feet, six feet, and now I just heard you say the particles can go 30 feet. Does that mean if somebody's 30 feet away from me that I can get it from 30 feet out now? Potentially. I mean, the aerosolization process itself with the tiny, you know, five micron particles floating out, drying out, it's rough on the virus. But we have seen instances where it looks like that happens. For example, in super spreader events, remember the choir in Washington state where one person looks like they infected 52 others. And it doesn't look like it could have been totally on the basis of just droplet, you know, within six to eight feet. Yes, I also heard the scientists say it doesn't just stay dropped to the ground, that it could linger in the air. So, John, how are we supposed to move in the world? What are we supposed to do? I think, you know, the, the scientists I spoke to, like Kim Prather, who you heard, said, you know, don't be afraid of this. This is an opportunity. Now that we know that there is an issue, we can try to fix it. So, for example, in buildings, we need to make them healthier. We need to improve the ventilation. Maybe we put filters in the, in the air. Maybe we put UV filters that can destroy the virus in the ducts. Um, it shouldn't be scary to people. Open the window, cr uh, crack the door, simple things. But once we know that there's a problem, we have some of the greatest engineers on the planet in the United States. Now we know there's an issue, let's deal with it. And start with the basics. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Thank you, Dr. John LaPook. Wear your mask. Always good to see you.